Zach, 94th minute winners. Don't get much better than that today. No, nah, they're sweet. They're sweet. That's good. That's, uh, that's <laughs> it's a bit of a, a, a tight win, but it's a nice one. Played really well across the whole 90 minutes. We never gave up. That goal was just coming, wasn't it? Yeah, no, we didn't give up. We, we were creating, we were doing a lot of, made a lot of chances and, you know, <clears throat> the lads up there were working their socks off and, you know, it paid off and j came out of nowhere with his, with his, uh, his token goal for the year, so, <laughs> but yeah, no, all good. His, his last goal was a at a time goal as well, so <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll mention that. <laughs> he you does guys, have a late one. You guys really worked hard at the back there to keep it with an opportunity to win it there. <laughs> How good were the other defenders today? For sure, no, the lads, we stuck together, you know, we, we showed resilience and they're, they're a tough side to come, you know, come play against, especially here in this atmosphere. And, they're one of their strengths, obviously, is set pieces, and, and I felt like we dealt with them quite well. Uh, Korn's made a great block towards the end there. Um, and yeah, no, I thought everyone stood up, and it wasn't just the defenders, it was the whole team that came back when, when called upon. And yeah, we stuck together and, and we stood up against it. A brilliant block you mentioned there. Is that just sum up like how much you want to win that game? 100%. 100%. You know, when it gets to the dying, sort of dying moments in the game, you want to you make sure that you don't lose it. And when you play away from home, you want to make sure that you. You know, if, if you don't feel like you can win it, you don't lose it. And today we never felt like that. We felt like we could keep pushing and get the win. And like you say, lads throwing their bodies on the line is, is exactly what we're about. You mentioned it earlier, a tough place to go notoriously, but you guys didn't let it phase you at all. No, no, we uh, <coughs> obviously we, we wanted to pay our respects at the beginning of the game. And, and then after that, we wanted to focus on the match and, and make sure that the sort of the respect for them isn't there. And, and, and we, showed, we showed that and I felt like we, you know, we rode the wave, they, they got up and the atmosphere was there, but we rode the wave well and, and we came off the better side of it. The goal goes in, the away end goes mad. Can you sum up that, that split second feeling? How's it, do you know what to do then? Not really, I was on the floor, I'll be honest. I didn't see Jamo actually put it in, but I, uh, I got up, I saw him wheeling off and uh, yeah, I looked up and I, luckily I saw my dad literally right at the front. So I was celebrating with him and all the rest of the City fans and it was, it was a great moment. And you can't really sum them, their moments up, to be honest with you, it's just a, it's just a feeling of, joy and pure passion really and and uh, yeah we were all celebrating together jumping on each other and it was great. The City fans, <laughs> how incredible were they today? Oh brilliant, brilliant you know I think they were singing the whole game, um, they, they let us know they were there which was brilliant and we needed it like I said in the last minutes of the game and we sort of sucked the ball into the net and, and it was uh, yeah it was brilliant, it was brilliant from them today. Birmingham at home next week, what's the focus between now and then? We've got to recover right, We've got to make sure that we go again, and we've got we haven't got a midweek game, which is uh, you know which is time to put it you know get the detail in for Birmingham, and like you said, it's gonna well it's gonna be a tough game, and we've got to go again.